Wow, Joanne, can you see that snake? Who? Oh, it looks so scary. What's written there? K I N G C O B R A. King Cobra? King Cobra? That's the most venomous snake. Oh, I'm really scared at the sight of these snakes. I'm also scared of snakes, Joanne. C come, let's go. That one was so scary. What I have heard is that snakes do not harm you unless you go and harm them. Yeah, but is there any place where there are no snakes? Hmm, I have heard that there are no snakes in Ireland. Who? No snakes in Ireland? But how? What I have read is that the patron saint of Ireland banished all the snakes from the country. Joanne, who is the patron saint of Ireland? I think it was St. Patrick. St. Patrick? Come, let us get back home quick. Uncle Francis should be reaching home at any time now. Maybe we can ask him to narrate the story of St. Patrick today. Yes, Joanne, that is a good idea. Wow, that must be Uncle Francis. Good morning, children. Good morning, Uncle. So, how was your visit to the zoo? Did you find anything interesting? I was really scared when I saw the snakes there, Uncle. <laughs> Don't worry, Jim. Most people are scared of snakes. Uncle Francis, I told Jim that there are no snakes in Ireland. That is quite right, Joan. Many believe that it was St. Patrick who banished all the snakes from Ireland. Uncle, can you please narrate the story of St. Patrick today? Sure. I shall tell you the story of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland today. Are you ready? Yes. St. Patrick was born in Great Britain in A.D. 387. When he was 16, he was captured by pirates and taken to Ireland. He was then sold to a tribal chieftain called Milchu. Chief, please let me go back to my parents. The pirates took me away from my home. What? How dare you? I just bought you, slave, and now you want to go home? <laughs> go there and look after those sheep, you idiot. Master, please be kind. But he didn't listen, and Patrick had to work really hard for six years as a slave to his master. And then, one night, when he was sleeping... Patrick, get up. You need to leave your master and go back to your home. Huh? What am I hearing? Is it... is it a dream? Get up and flee from your master. A ship is waiting for you to go back to Britain. The... the port? Yes, my lord. I'll do as you say. The port was about 200 miles away, but Patrick didn't think twice. He got up and started running at once, and he finally reached there in a few days' time. Captain, I need to travel to the Great Britain. Can you please let me board the ship? Hello, young man. Why do you look so worried? Are you running away from someone? No, no, Captain. In fact, I want to get back to my family. Huh? But then how come you are here in Ireland? I have been working as a slave for the past six years. I need to return home now. It's very urgent, Captain. Please help me. Hmm. 